Hello everyone and welcome to today's episode of Pixel Discharge and today again will be a game tutorial this is episode 4 um, I was going through the comment section of YouTube my YouTube channel and I did receive one comment uh, from one of my friends and he suggested me to uh, shorten down the length of the videos so I think I'll have to do that because my uh, videos are taking too long so without further ado I'm just gonna open up an image and start off with tutorial right away today I'll be talking about uh, creating luminosity mask and uh, using the luminosity mask to adjust the colors of varying tones so I'll just start with this image mountain okay what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rename this as base I'm gonna duplicate the base twice now what I'm I'll just explain what I'm gonna do see uh, if you go to colors levels you can see that there are three levels of uh, tones you can find in an image shadows highlights and the midpoints also known as the gray points of an image I did a tutorial yesterday explaining you how you can set these points manually so that you can do some uh, m manual white balancing today I'll be doing a similar concept except this time I'll be uh, using a new concept called luminosity masks uh, I'll create a few luminosity marks and using that I can adjust the colors of these three different ranges so I'll just start off first off I'm gonna rename this as temp for temporary oops temp uh, sorry for that uh, yeah there you go temp I'm gonna desaturate this image desaturation is nothing but turning this image into black and white so I'm just gonna go to colors and click on desaturate not exactly turning this color in uh, this image into black and white but as it says remove colors it just removes the colors from our image I had used this tool earlier and uh, as I said my favorite one is luminosity but uh, I'm not favoring my uh, I'm not favoring any of these today I'm just gonna use luminosity because I'm gonna create luminosity mask through which I can manipulate this image so the default option for this tutorial is always luminosity so click on luminosity and click on OK. There you go, you have a nice black and white image. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going into the channels tab with this layer selected. There you go, you have the four channels over here, red, green, blue and alpha. I I believe you have a thorough understanding of these channels. If so you can see that uh, these three uh, channels don't have any uh, differing values in them because this is a black and white image all it all it matters in these channels is the intensity of light you, you have in these otherwise if this was a colored image you have different values for red green and blue that is not the case here because this is desaturated because this is desaturated uh, the color values are just removed from these channels so you just have the intensities of light or also known as uh, luminosity values present in these channels and uh, 
all these red cha red green and blue channels are have the same value so it doesn't matter which channel I choose so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drag this channel as I said can be red green or blue it doesn't matter so I'm just gonna drag this red channel over here I'm gonna rename this channel as L for light uh, uh, I'll be using a naming convention over here I'll be using the abbreviation L for lighter tones or the highlights I'll be using the abbreviation D for darker tones or the shadows and I'll be using the abbreviation M for mid tones for the gray points so I uh, there you go I have the light or the um, highlights channel over here what I'm going to do is uh, this this will be our luminosity mask for the light channel or the highlights I'm going to create the dark or the uh, shadows luminosity mask using this uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to select menu and click on all so it will select all the contents in my image you can see a marching ants around the image that means this whole image is selected now what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract this channel from this so all the highlights from my image is going to get removed so if you don't have the highlights let us assume that you have the shadows in it so I'm just gonna right click on this and I'm gonna click on subtract from selection so what this does is it separates or subtracts the lighter tones from our image so when you don't when your image don't have the lighter tones you can call them as the darker tones you only have the dark uh, tones visible if you subtract lighter tones so now the selection has only the lighter tones and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a channel to this selection so I'm, I'm going to select click on save to channel so it will save this darker tones into a channel there you go you have a selection mask copy I'm gonna rename this as D for dark tones so I have a light tones image and a dark tones I mean channel and a dark tones channel the next thing is again removing lighter tones from this so I I get more darker tones so I'm, go I'm gonna select this L channel right click on it and again go to subtract from selection now you have yet darker uh, tone selected so I'm gonna save this channel again I'm gonna save it as DD for more darker tones so I'm gonna repeat this once more subtract from selection go to select and click on save to channel I'm gonna save this as DDD for yet more darker tones so I'll settle here I have three darker tones and one light tone so as you see as you saw you, uh, you can create darker tones by separating out the lighter tones from the image so I'll go to select none so it will bring back to my normal selection next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna separate the darker tones from the lighter tones from this um, channel I'm gonna separate the dark tones so I'll get two more lighter tones so that is the uh, idea here just separate out the tones which you don't want in your channel so in my darker I am in my dark tone channel I didn't want any light tones to be visible so what I did this 
I selected all the image and separated out the light tones from it so that I got only the dark tones. I repeated the process to get two more darker tones. So this is in incremental. So this has a lesser range of dark tones. This have a little more higher range of dark tones and this has the highest dark, dark tone ranges. So um, as I said I'm gonna create two more lighter tones over here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click on this light uh, channel and click on channel to selection so this channel tone will be selected in my image now I'm gonna create two more lighter tones to do that I'm gonna uh, right click on the darker tone channel and click on subtract from selection so I'm set of subtracting the darker tone from the lighter tones so I have I get more yet more lighter tones so this is uh, a sample of a lighter tone channel I'm gonna make this into a channel so I'm gonna go to select save to channel it's the exact same procedure what we did for the darker channels except that I'm, I'm, sub I'm subtracting the dark channels now so I'll do that again once more. Right click, sub, uh, subtract from selection, go to select, save to channel. I'm gonna save this as LLL. -L -L. Gonna move this over here. Okay. So you have um, three darker tones and three lighter tones channels. But what about the mid tones? Well, as you can see, I, I got this darker tone by separating out the lighter tones. But just separating out the lighter tones doesn't make the dark tone channel. You need to separate out the mid tones too. So I have a certain amount of mid tones present in my lighter channel, I mean darker channel, and I have some mid tones present this in this lighter channel so if I take the intersection of these two I'll I can successfully separate out the mid tones channel so that is my basic idea here so I'm gonna put this channel into selection so right click channel to selection so the lighter tones channel is selected this lighter tones channel has some amount of mid tones in it Similarly, this darker tones channel has some amount of mid tones in it. If I can successfully get an intersection of these two sets, I I it ideally represents the mid tone channel that what uh, what we want. So to get the uh, in uh, get the intersection, just right click on this darker tones channel and click on intersect with selection so I now have an a selection with an intercession of the dark channel and the light uh, tone channel but as you can see you don't find any marching ants over here that is because usually the mid tones are hidden from the user view you don't have to worry about that it is still a selection you can go into this uh, select menu and click on save to channel there you go you have that selection over here and this is the midtones that we want so I'm just double clicking that and just saving it as M so I have one midtone over here uh, what about mm, two more midtones well I'm not gonna create the two more midtones over here I'll tell you the procedure how you can go about it I'll just move it here so if you remember I did an intersection of the dark uh, tone layer and light tone layer to get this mid tone uh, layer so if I do an intersection of DD and LL I get MM if I do an intersection of DDD LLL I get MMM I hope you can understand what these mean 
and as you as the level increases the amount of uh, colors that are extracted increases so this this is our luminosity channel over here and we have successfully uh, separated out isolated out the separate tones in our image so that is the main objective of creating this temporary layer so I'm gonna delete this layer I don't need this need this layer anymore I'm gonna delete this so I mean sorry I duplicated it I'm gonna delete it okay now I have the base layer again so what can I do with these channels I'll show you so you have our image over here what if you want to color a certain tone in your image independent of the other parts of the image you can take your brush tool paint over it and get a blend mode put some blur into it I mean you can do certain things with your image but that shouldn't uh, that may not be the efficient way to do that of course it's a tedious task you have to create you have to create these tone channels separately that creating itself is a tedious task if you uh, forget some steps in between you'll have to start, start over again so that is one disadvantage in creating this um, luminosity tone uh, channel but there is an advantage too you can separately color out these channels so I'll demonstrate it right away and this is will be uh, this will be the layer I'm gonna work on so I'll name it as work that might work okay so I'm gonna add a lay mask to this or maybe I'm gonna duplicate this first I'm gonna okay I'm gonna name this as L for now and I'm gonna uh, rename this as D for now Indi indicating the light mask and the dark mask so I'll go ahead click on this uh, layer right click on it add a, add a layer mask to this I'm gonna set usually I used set a white layer mask this time I'm gonna set a channel for this I'm just gonna go to channels and because this is a light layer I'm gonna set any of these any one of these three masks so I'll just uh, click on LL it doesn't uh, matter much if you want a lower range of light shadows I mean you want a lower range of highlights in your mask you can go with L if you want a yet more deeper control of your light tones you can go with LL or the highest control over, over your highlights you can go triple L I'm just gonna settle with double L for now I'm just gonna do with double L and uh, gonna click on add so it will create a layer mask and if you look at this layer mask show layer mask hide this okay and this is our light channel if you notice this this these um, what you see white these white clouds over here these indicate our bright points whatever is blacked out is is the thing which we don't want in our image so this image represents the light tones so whatever white you see white over here are the light tones and these black things are the shadows which you don't want so it 
efficiently removed out those uh, darker tones from our image. If you remember, uh, if you remember things from the second episode, I talked about layer mask, and in a layer mask, if you have black in your image, it means transparent in your uh, layer. If you have a dark, if you have black in your layer mask, it uh, effectively means uh, the that portion will be made transparent in your image. So if I just show this layer, as you can see, all the blacks are just made transparent, and only the lighter tones are visible. So if I do a color correction on this layer it is only visible in these areas so I can efficiently change the colors of this lighter tones without affecting the darker tones so that is what do you mean by luminosity mask it just masks out the luminosity portions it just separates out the tones so that you can uh, apply color corrections independently of the other tones so that is about the uh, luminosity mask I'll go ahead and add the layer mask for this and this because this is a darker channel I'm gonna select DD and if I show this layer alone you can see only the dark dark uh, color is chosen okay what can I do with this first of all I'm gonna select the dark or I'm gonna select the uh, I'm gonna hide, uh, select the uh, light layer indicated by the white box white outline okay uh, once I select the light layer I'm going going to colors colorize to change the color of that portion so this is the portion which we want to change as you can see as soon as you hope open up uh, the colorize dialog itself can see a change in color only in that portion so um, if I move it to there and I'm gonna change the colors of these portions without affecting the other portions so I'm just gonna change the hue you can see the color changing but as you can see you have some reflections over here even those things change that is the uh, best thing in luminosity masks it not only selects the tones it selects the tones accurately even the uh, reflections on the mountains here are perfectly selected can just experiment with the values of hue and saturation of course and just come up with a good color I'm gonna go in uh, I like cyan better cyan is, cyan is one of my favorite colors so I'm gonna give a cyan color to this there you go I'm gonna increase the saturation a bit and that looks good for me I'm gonna click on OK so I efficiently change the color of the lighter tones without affecting the darker tones okay now it's the turn for the darker tones I'm gonna select the dark tone layer go to colors colorize as you can see the darker tones already changed its color I don't like this color so I'm gonna change this I'm gonna drag the hue to the left you can see a more greenish color appearing I'm gonna settle into a much natural looking color, green color. Mm, that looks good. I'm gonna pump up the saturation a bit. There you go. Now that's a huge improvement over our base layer. So I'm gonna just check my results. So what I'm gonna do is shift click on this icon so that only the base image will be visible 
so this is our base image this is what we started with and this is what we get a huge improvement and if you don't like the contribution of these darker I mean these tones you can obviously uh, bring down the opacity to shorten the effect of that mask so let me hide this yeah see a green patch over here I don't like that I'm gonna reduce this amount a bit okay I think I did a mistake over here I just show saturated this image so I'm just gonna undo that um, okay just gonna increase this again go to colors colorize I just over saturated it the previous time that color I'm just gonna reduce the saturation a bit mm -hmm. that looks good but you have that still still have that um, thing over here ok I'm gonna manually correct that I'll just settle with this color it looks so good so I'll just go into that uh, portion just right click on that and go to show layer mask you have that portion as you can see this area is should not be affected by my color change so what I'll do is I'll just quickly grab the select tool uh, make sure my lay mask is selected there you go the lay mask is selected and just select this portion and make it black and just take the fill bucket tool just fill it with black or uh, fill hole selection make sure this is checked and fill it with black so it will fill the thing with black just gonna do another selection or I'll just take a magic wand or the fuzzy select tool and select this portion so that portion is selected I'll just go fill it, fill it up again there you go that whole portion is blacked out just take the eraser tool or the paint brush tool and paint it with black again so select none paint this portions in black so that should correct my problem oops okay that should correct my problem so let's check our means again as you can see that portion is just ignored so that's it that is about luminosity marks okay that is about the dark and light things uh, we, we did create a mid-tone thing so let's see what the mid-tone is for um, I'll just create a new sorry just duplicate this just call it 10 I'm gonna go to I'll just add a layer mask and give the channel as name okay now for the mid-tones you can't actually colorize the mid-tones so what I'll do is I'll just I, I can only use it to uh, change the levels change the brightness and contrast and things like that so if I change the brightness and contrast only that layer will oops 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 again I'll need to select this channel not the layer mask sorry for that okay I'm going to brightness contrast I'll adjust the brightness as you can see the brightness changes so I can play with these values all along and I don't care about the midtones right now because the brightness and contrast of this image looks pretty decent so you can use the midtones to adjust the brightness and contrast and that's it for today you learned how to create the luminosity mask 
you learned how to use the luminosity mask to change the colors of these portions of these different tones hope I have not made this tutorial lengthy uh, my honest attempt was me to make it short hope you have liked this tutorial that's it for today bye bye